Dusty? What up? Nothing. Is it two for Tuesday today? It is. We got a round track car this afternoon. Is today Tuesday? Wednesday. Monday. Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. Yeah. So we will have two for Wednesday. We got a round track car coming at one. This is our buddy's car. Tim came in pretty good. He said it made around 780 and it made right at 780. <laughs> that's, the, so, that's one of the hey. first times it's been like, my car makes 780 now. Like, and like, yeah, it probably does. And like, no, you're, you're dead on. This car is a kind of a unicorn though, because it's got, it's got some things that you would say like, that's not gonna work, right? Like, and it works, it works well. It has a V3 A and A system on it with a six rib serpentine. No dedicated drive, no eight rib upgrade, just six ribs, one belt. It's got the ANA aux fuel system with a three-point pump, stock in tank. Um, it's the return style ANA, yeah. so it, it taps in here for the return. Um, and then we the, and it had a stock map sensor in it too. So. That was one of the first things Dusty changed for me because I was like, man, I can't see boost. So we had no idea what the boost was. So we put us in a LS9 style map sensor. So now it's reading boost, boost perfectly. And it doesn't show any slip, which is also a good thing. It's a straight drive car. Yeah. And it uh, has an unknown cam. He thinks it's a BTR3, but he's not exactly sure. Right. Uh, and other than that, it's pretty stock. He said the heads have never even been off of it. It scares me a little bit with these LS7s. Oh, LS3. Oh, LS3, yeah. Corvette, I mean, Grand Sport. Yep, dry sump LS3, LS3 in the Grand Sports. But it's all good. So it came in pretty solid. The tune was a little fat. Had a decent amount of time in it. I was pretty happy with the timing. Um, but it came in a little fat. We were able to lean it out and get, uh, get the fuel back in check. This is a, like a last run we did. Cooled um, off. Cooled off. So it's not exactly where it would be at. This is probably going home with what would you say, 840, 850 tune? Yeah, and then this is this is uh 801 was filter on. On. So we picked up about 20 horsepower with tuning and about 20 plus foot pounds uh with a lot in the gut. And, and then, then we this was filter off but not cooled off. Correct. And then we did the last one was we actually cooled it off. I tweaked the timing a little bit more, and we were able to get that uh, um, high no the eight seventy two, and picked up over seven hundred foot pounds. That's really stout. This thing's nasty. <laughs> yeah, no, it runs good. And the one that's going to be more accurate to your fueling as well will be this orange line. The last one, you know, you know, I, we don't try to hide anything. You know, the last one we cooled it down. Um, you know, we let it cool. Got a little lean up top, um, but this is what he's going home with at least this much, probably in between the two, because I did keep the timing because it was real super safe with the yep. timing and it didn't knock. Yep, and like, like I said, this was pull after pull after pull. Yeah. With no cool down, so I mean, you know, if you're driving on the street, you probably see that. If you go to the track, pop the hood, cool it off, you probably see it closer. Yeah, to and he put some race gas in the last one, try to see if it was worth and anything. I don't know. We're pointing out that the filter was, that was on there was oh, yeah. clogged up. <laughs> like, it was dirty. It was really dirty. So he didn't want that to go back on. He's like, we're going to leave that So, on. yeah, we're gonna, he's going to end up with a, a race screen, like a turbo guard. Uh, so that'll put him over 800 all the time. Well, there was one other thing I was going to say, but of course, I forgot. So I probably e -content. was 80. Yeah. He had a lot of percentage. Uh, so the, oh, that's what I was going to say. One thing to note about this one, this is a good 800 rear wheel combo because you were talking earlier about it being maxed out with the blower and the belt. It's also maxed out on fuel system and probably bottom end is, is you know, around once we get around that 800 mark, you know, we kind of, let's see, we didn't have it on. Let me, let's show the, fuel. Oh yeah. Um, we love data, and that's why we added a map sensor that worked, so we could see how much boost it was making. The, it doesn't slip at all. Five, and then filter off, and then filter off, cooled off. Yeah, let's... Three, and then we'll add that. We did uh, put the fuel pressure sensor on it and log that, and we actually boost referenced that also. Yeah. It wasn't boost referenced when it got here, so we knew it's still probably, like we talked about, we said it's still probably not going to have the capacity to keep increasing with booze, but Wanted to check. it did give you a little bit of headroom, I think, going down to it. But you can tell, we always talk about the 
when the injectors max out, the pressure flattens out because you're not yeah. opening it any farther. So about 6,300 is all the injector it's got and, and fuel system. It's kind of a two. Yeah. It's, it's probably more fuel system than it is. If we had, what, 58 base and then added 13 or 14 PSI. Yeah, because there are 1,000 cc injectors. PSI versus 50. Well, we now we also know it's making almost 900 wheel. It's probably maxed out there as well. Yeah. So I do think that. For somebody wanting in the 700 to 800 horsepower range, this is a great combo yeah. because it maxes out everything without being unsafe. Because to really go much more than this, you want to put some head studs in it. You want to upgrade the fuel system. You need to upgrade the, inject the injectors. You need to upgrade the head unit. And you would need to upgrade the pulley system because it is, like you said, six rib. Yeah, so that be, thing's be putting honest, in work. That's what I would say is be honest with yourself. If you're buying one, Right now, you know, you don't have anything and you're buying one from scratch. Like, be honest with yourself. What's your final goal? If you think you're going to end up with more, it's so much cheaper to get what you need now than it is. Like, we talked about if, if you were to do a dedicated drive with the eight rib, it'd be five, six thousand dollars. Time you get the balancer, the bracket, the dedicated drive stuff, just more fuel system. Yeah, if you think you're going to be a little bigger, get. Get the supporting parts. So that. my recommendation, I think Tim's going to do it, too, is just with the power it made, keep it just like this and enjoy it on the street because it's so damn fun. What are you going to make, 50? Yeah, it? it's not worth the, the time and hassle. So this is a great setup showing what you can make with it. This might be the highest one we've made with a TI, right? Which one is this? The, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think this is the highest horsepower I've seen on one of these. So, but anyways, that's, that's good with this one. Uh, Tim actually got a few clips of the uh, runs. Dusty, of course, got me one. Oh, we got a pickup coming or delivery and we'll put those in here at the end and uh, the dyno sheets of course uh, ended up 872 and 702 thanks again See you.